And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some meme tier Monday. We're going to have some crazy decks today. It's Monday. That's always exciting having these really fun decks. We're going to be trying out some brand new stuff and just seeing uh, what happens. So this first one is a crazy champion combination with Soraka and Elise together. That's right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to have our spiders with Elise. And a good, you know, we're going to want to try to level up Elise. That's going to be something that's going to be really nice if we can do. But we'll have a few different spiders, like Hapless Aristocrat can make a spider. We have the Arachnoid Horror to go along with Elise. We have Vile Feast. We have Frenzied Skitter. So we don't have tons of spiders, but that's going to be our goal is to try to level up Elise. But besides that, we want to protect our spiders. We want to buff them up. We're going to have Tiari the Traveler uh, grant the plus zero, plus two. So grant two to the health. We're at Mentor the Stones, be able to grant two to the health and two to the power. And also Mountain Sojourners, grant plus two, plus two. So we, we're going to be able to buff up these spiders so that they are more difficult to kill. And then once we buff them up, they'll probably take a little bit of damage. So we're going to have our Soraka be able to heal those spiders. So we got Soraka and Elise together. It's a, a crazy combination, but it, hopefully we'll do pretty good. You know, we got a good amount of support. We got some attacks. We have like the Star Spring for a backup. We have a Star Shaping to make a huge Celestial for like a backup plan. Um, and that's going to kind of be it. So we'll we'll see how it does. But that's that's what Meme Tier Day is all about. So we're just playing a normal with this uh, crazy deck here. And we're going to try it out. We're also going to be doing a Targon's Peak with Talia deck to copy Targon's Peak. Up next. And then after that, we got a Three Sisters. All Frel Yord with Lissandra, Ash, and Sejuani together. All right, I'm gonna keep this. Mentor the Stone's pretty bad against uh, Gohard, and really just bad against Twisted Fate. But it does give all those gems. Those gems are cool. All right, well, Star Shepherd, good against small amounts of damage. Where do you stand on cold shots? So Raka. Trick shot. No, the stars. All right, I'll just get the Star Spring in play so I can hold up the Guiding Touch. Ooh, they're a monkey deck. This is certainly going to be a weird game. So you have to imagine they have Go Hard. Yep. And so it's good for me that I didn't just let, throw down the Mench of the Stones and let that get Go Harded. That game plank is going to be pretty big. Ah, uh, using coral creatures to try to make go hards also. It's cheeky. I got a Yi Ben warned. All right. Well, we definitely know that they're going to be attacking. Okay, so just attacking with those. Looking into the future, I see purple. Pitter -pitter -pitter. No removal. Yeah. Let's go. 
Goodbye, Alf East. Keep them from drawing two. You're going to attack and support you. Who supports? I don't know. You. <clears throat> I could. I don't know. Like, maybe Soraka is even the best thing to support. Maybe we just make, like, this Star Shepherd a 4 5. Or I can buff up the Arachnoid Horror. Got a 5 4 fearsome. There is assistant. <laughs> 5 4 fearsome hits a little harder. Good thing we went immediately to attacks. <laughs> Gross. Achilles, where are you? Dang, they have had every go hard. Never lost a fair game or played one. Soak it in. Okay, this is definitely going to be bad if they can find. If they, if they can find Packer Bangs. Alright, so I want to make this a 6-5. Fearsome. Let's go, Osu. Live with purpose. Or, I guess, 7-6. Sorry, so sorry. I, I was just thinking the 6 health. I want to get it to 6 health so it doesn't die to pack your bags. That was the whole point of what I was trying to say. All right, we actually have a damaged ally that we can heal. Well, that won't draw pack your bags, but it does draw a card to level up Twist of Fate. We look after our own. Well, that's two. And it's going to get healed from Star Spring anyway for the third one. And yeah, drew that. Alright, probably gonna be this leveled up to us of fate. Alright, they burned to pack your bags, that's good. Like I'm on a yeah, so the logic behind this was <laughs> what's the worst champion combination in the game, and then went went from there. Yeah, it's a very, very random champion combination for sure. Oh man, Mountain Sojourners would have been so good, like this whole game to have. 
It's, you know, it's kind of too late now with Pack Your Bags, Twisted Fate, you know, like... Don't really beat Pack Your Bags, Twisted Fate, but... Like, leveled up Twisted Fate, but that would... This would have been great to have... You know, really, like, this is turn 9. Like, if we would have had this, like, on turn 5 or so, and, like, been able to do the support chains, that would have been great to have. Huh. Well, I feel better when you feel by the power of the stars. Take heart, live with purpose. Can we kill them? Potentially. It's too bad I don't get to play the Sojourners. I pull the string. Level up Elise. A oh, level up Elise only gives all, all my spiders fearsome. It doesn't give my Soraka fearsome. But it does give the challenger, which is important. What if we win this game? I kind of can't block any of these spiders. Because even if they get to gold card, the gold card this thing will be fine, but if they have gold card plus nexus healing, yeah, there we go. That'll be game. Exact lethal. Eyes open. We got a game. Look at that. Soraka Elise. Too strong. How about that? How about that? Leveled up Twisted Fate, not nearly as good as Soraka Elise. Just can't handle it. <laughs> Miracles do come true. Alright, all Sivir with PNZ. So PNZ... Hmm. Not sure exactly what this deck's going to be like. All right, we got Hapless Aristocrat. Vile Feast is good at busting up a spell shield. Um, we probably want our champions. You know what? Let's just keep the Vile Feast to bust up a spell shield and look for some champions. Ugh, not the best hand, but... Okay, we'll start with this Arachnoid Horror. Looks like everything's fearsome. Whoa, a 4-3. I don't really want to make that trade. Making that trade makes their Reaper better. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure either. All right, free kill. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. Um, I guess I do the trading now. Okay, so that's the plan? Okay. So the plan is to, like, make something really large with, like, Xenotype researchers and then use, like, counterfeit copies and put exact copies of them back into the, into the deck. 
and draw a bunch of cards. I could see that being the plan. Play one of these. Kind of using using my mana that's going to go away. Oh yeah, it could be a Kahiri deck. Yeah, it could definitely be Kahiri. Please work. They only have two cards. Only three mana. Obviously, any spell keeps that alive. The assembly body will grow. No, no! Ah. Uh. Well, that's too bad. Ooh, attacking with it? Well, let's do this. Okay, wow. That was a bold assembly bot attack. I thought they said this climb would be a challenge. We need some big spiders. We're in this together. Big spiders. We'll go prismatic big spider. Hold tight. <laughs> five five spider. <laughs> Kato the spider. Right. Dude, Sojourners is so good. One foot in front of the other. I'll lead the way. Right behind you. Put five five in here. Mm. Careful. Careful. I think like the plus three plus one <clears throat> is kind of likely. And I guess I could have done that the other way of with the blocking, try to kill that thing. But oh well. Big spiders. Dude, are we gonna be two and zero with our big spider deck? We are two and oh. Big spiders. Soraka Elise. That wasn't so bad now, was it? Lulu, for sure. I definitely love playing Lulu decks. Oh, they, we're playing against Lucian Azir with some leveled up champions. There's Soraka Elise. Okay. This hand looks okay. It doesn't look Amazing, but it looks okay. Well, I guess I'll mulligan the star shaping. You know, I could see that heal five be very important. But I wanted a one drop with having the attack token turn one. All right, I'm gonna try my best. Really? Really? They passed. They passed priority to me it's for me to play a two drop and then play that. Like they just weren't even gonna play that to begin with. They were gonna save it, huh? Reaching the peak will change everything. No. Yeah, they had been holding that shape stone. Glorious sacrifice. A 
I will reach the peak. Join us. The more All right, Mountain Sojourners. Help us out. Remembrance. Things of five four. Just a little farther. I do this. And these aren't very good against five fours. Five four blocks that two five really well. But it's better to attack and get like this all this extra on it than not attack. A five four challenger is really rough anyway. Cause like if, if I don't attack, they just challenge anyway. Yeah, I could glimpse it. I'm just gonna save glimpse. We'll get two damage on the Swiftwing Lancer. That can be an important two damage. Soldier to me. Nothing stands in our way. Always forward. Sharima is sand and sky, past and present. Their deck looks pretty good. That was a great remembrance, then a great uh, Scythria. That was a really good turn five, turn six. No, the stars. Might as well block this thing. The Zazir continuing to grow whenever they play new things is kind of annoying also. Because, you know, like, I can't, like, minus it, so it can't block. Side by side, into battle. Oh, it only gets the plus one, but, alright. All right, spiders? Spiders? I, mean, I might as well just do this, right? Yeah, because then if I don't do this, they get another Sand Soldier. But, like, if I do this... Okay. So I do this. I attack. They can block two things. So they can block five power, five power. They take seven. Oh, they go to two. What do I have at one mana? No, we, we're not... This We don't win this game. Right now. I don't really have anything at one mana. Yeah, I think I, I... That's what I'm kind of thinking, is that I have to let it live and damage this Vanguard Calvary. Because I make this attack... Yeah, if this spider was fearsome also, we would win. Or if this was like something that dealt two damage to them. Like if I could, if I could, if I had the mana, like if this was all like unit mana and I could play the Mentor of the Stones, we would win. All right, we put them down to two. Now, so do I sacrifice this Skitter? Yeah. There's not really any difference in that Scythria being at six or being at one, is there? I mean, we'll get to block the Scythria. Like we could block and kill the Scythria if I don't do this. Yay, okay, good. That's what I wanted. Because, you know, they, they can attack and have four lethal attackers just immediately, so I'm going to need four lethal, you know, four blockers. If only this was Ruinous Path. Well, that's too bad. This was so close! So close. 
Ah, uh, not the heal five card. That was so close. Darius. All right, well, I'm going to keep one drop, two drop, three drop. Um, some Blessed Figure is not a bad spell. I think we're going to just keep it. I already, it's not like I have to mulligan it and look for like a one, two, or three drop, because you already got one drop, two drop, three drop, so. I have my orders. Look at that hapless aristocrat. The aristocrat also has its orders, and the orders are to block. Okay, so I can attack. They kill Elise, but I do have backup Elise. So I think that's worth it, because we get the spider. Spider worth it. Not really, but I think so. I think the spider's worth it. So that they're at 16, I'm at 17. Hands off the merch. I'm good at... In position. So I'll take an additional 4. So I take 6, so I go to 13. Please, I have connections. 13, 16. Made the most of you. No refund. And stop staring. That's right, mentor the stones Elise deck. Opponent's man. like, what is going on over there? No. Hush now. Big Elise. Maybe you need a closer look. Well, I didn't do anything. You break it, you buy. Alright, they're letting me keep the Mentor of the Stones alive. They don't want Elise to level up. But the Mentor of the Stones is going to get another uh, plus two, plus two in. Playing the 2-2 two because -two the 2-2 two -two can block the 1-2. Down to seven. I don't know what kind of burn spells they're going to be playing. Probably a lot. <clears throat> All they really need is decimate and get excited. All right. So do I? If I just attack, let's see. This thing does six, puts them down to four, but they block the two, and they that does not kill them if I just attack. So even though I I would like to be able to attack before decimate happens, but I don't have lethal, so I guess we got to play stuff first combat. That's kind of scary. Okay. So you're going to support you, who supports you, who supports you, and then you can support you. I'll lose out on that spiderling. I guess I don't have to attack with the Soraka. 
It's the same damage, but the Soraka, you know, like I wouldn't heal this TRE. So I wouldn't get towards two out of four for leveling up, but I get the spider. We could use a bite. Maybe I should be actually not. Maybe I should have the Mentor of the Stones go on this spider to spread out that damage. Oh man, so close, nine? Oh, so close. Step away, why can't I have Soraka attack two? Or why doesn't Soraka just attack for two? <laughs> Soraka should be a two five, not a one six. Okay, well. There we go. They're at one. And last loss, we got our opponent to two. If we lose this one, we get our opponent to one. We're so close. Yeah, our, our Elise did take down Darius. So that's clutch. Hmm. No! They did have Decimate. Oh, this is so close. There's nothing to fear. Oh, this is so close. Hopefully it's a unit. Yes! Wow. There we go. Three and one. All right, back to Azir. Azir is the champion that has defeated us so far. We're gonna try to get our revenge on Azir. Withering Whale can take it down some Sand Soldiers. So maybe I should keep Withering Whale. Yeah, I guess I probably should. Uh, I don't know, Star Springs can just kind of heal stuff for Soraka. Oh wow, they have the turn one Buried Sun Disc, that's lucky. So that's yeah, Star Spring can just do some healing, I suppose. There's nothing to they better not play the three one. Yay. Alright, gotta attack for zero. Gotta always gotta attack for zero whenever you can. Very important. Just show the opponents what's up. Make them take zero. Soraka with Vulnerable is not bad. Because it's like, what do you want to do? You want to challenge Soraka? Go ahead. And do some damage. Until they use the plus three, plus one card. And then I'm sad. Um... Well, Rennington challenging Soraka is not the best for me. <laughs> we gotta support the Spiderling though and heal it. Heal the spider. Yeah. You dare. The world in a grain of sand. Okay, they're gonna get an attacking sand soldier. Life stirs. No surrender. You have to get me out of here. I wanna kill the three one. I don't want that three one to keep blocking Elise. I'd like to play the Star Spring or the Star Shepherd first, 
you know, because I'm going to be healing this Elise. But I also want to just open attack, so. I'm sorry, other Star Shepherd. Dude, Mentor of the Stone's Elise is pretty sweet. I'm doing that, of course, to get the extra two damage with the Star Shepherd in. Oh, right. Right. Whoops. I forgot about that whole thing. I should have glimpsed beyond my spider. Whoops. Alright, that's the worst play I've made th these games. I really should have glimpsed beyond my spider. Uh, yeah. Whoops. Well, I guess I'm glimpsed beyonding now. Alright, so they would have leveled up. Even if I would have glimpsed beyond the spider, they still would have leveled up the Renekton with that strike right there. So it wasn't too bad. I don't want them to be able to challenge the Elise. Like, if I just play Elise and they play, like, one of the burst speed vulnerable cards that go with Renekton. We live in time. Man, that's lucky they hit the Allegiance. I hope that's not Azir. Okay, so. While I want to play, okay, if I play Hush, yeah, so I play Hush, I play Elise. It's basically, do I, do I play Hush, play Elise, or do I just play Elise, Frenzied Skitter, and I guess maybe that's the plan, is just play Elise, Frenzied Skitter. Because I, I think I can take this, like it's, you know, can I take 10 damage? And I, I'm pretty sure I can just take 10 damage. And then, you know, it's, do I play Frenzy Skitter next turn with a buff, or do I just throw it down this turn? I know what lurks in the shadows. Let me change you into something more comfortable. Alright, so the weakest attackers are these two. Alright, here we go. Elisa Raka with the win? <laughs> Alright, they're gonna sacrifice their Reddington. There we go! Oh. Soraka Elise, 4 and 1. Men to the Stones plus Elise. That was honestly a really good combination that won some games. Alright, so you know, it was just normal because it's meme tier day, but still, 4 and 1 for Soraka Elise. That's pretty crazy. I was not expecting this kind of success, but Elise is a, is a strong champion. You know, like that fearsome, making some spiders, but you know, it is a 2 3, but once you use Men to the Stones, or Mountain Sojourners, either one of those, start making uh, at least a 4-5, a 6-7. Uh, it gets big. It gets real big. So that was pretty awesome. That was that was really impressive. Um, those games were so close, though, right? Like, we, we weren't, uh, you know, it wasn't like we were dominating those games. They were, you know, razor-thin margins, but they were going our way and, uh, you know, Gotta be real happy with that. So there we go. So Raka Elise. The, the point of this deck, uh, like I said, the person that made this deck donate for it was, you know, uh, a conversation that we had on stream of just like, just champ, you know, like <laughs> terrible champion combinations or like the worst champion combinations in the game. And I think I think this one was mentioned in there, So Raka Elise. And uh, that, that shows that you can really, like this video shows that you can really play anything in Legends of Runeterra and have fun. Whatever two champions you like, throw them together 
uh, you can build something with them. And, um, you know, you're not going to win every game, but you can have some success and you can have some fun, especially in Norway if you don't get paired against Twisted Fate or Aphelios, uh, which we did not, and that was enjoyable. All right, but there we go. That's Soraka Elise. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this deck. Um, just also Meme Tier Day. You got other um, ideas for Meme Tier Day. For, feel free to throw them down in the comment section. I always love seeing those ideas, and I'll write it down and get to it eventually. All right, but that's it here for Soraka Elise. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.